Welcome back to a brand new video of Augustus, the modded Caesar 3 game. I just downloaded the most recent unstable build and we are gonna try out some new features on this huge map and it's a custom campaign or a custom mission called the Needy Gods and basically it's about we have to Release the gods and build some large temples. So let's quickly read this. Governor, after your last mission in Hispania, I have a new mission for you in mind on the north coast of Francia. Or Francia. The gods are very unpleased by the nearby heathens in the east and the lack of your, our own worshipping in this area. The region was always always known for excellent fertility but in the last months the gods seem to have changed that local vines have all died and every attempt to replant them seem to be fruitless furthermore the local marble production seems not to be safe anymore so the plebeians reject the work there this must be the wrath of the gods and that's why i'm sending you there another thorn in your mission are the natives the the laugh they laugh at us and only a mighty presence of large temples should show those barbarians the might of our gods. You seem to have an excellent connection to the gods, so you're the best governor to appease them. I will demand a lot of different food types that are local in this area, as well as gold and weapons. At later stages I will demand some oil and marble as well. We will not encounter any military activity, so you can focus totally on getting the economy going. So, your goals should be to build a proper city with aristocrats and at least two working grand temples. This should appease the gods and show those natives the might of Rome. Good luck, cover. Right. Sorry for terrible reading. Um, yeah, so it's a huge map. And I think, let's quickly see risks. Native. Okay, so the hills are pretty much off limits good to know there is a rock here because we have some new cool stuff like the city mint we also have gold mines stone, stone quarry and sand pits sand pits can go anywhere it seems no they have to be close to the sea Okay, and then we have gold mines. Assume they must be near rocks. Uh huh. There's up there, which we cannot really reach. Right. Over there. But. Yeah, 2000 for a bridge, right? Okay, now let's get a small block going somewhere where we can actually fit one in. I think maybe over here. We'll be able to have a nice little block. So let's put down. Two fountains like this. Put down the houses. Like this. Just bushes in the way. And. We also have highways, as you can see. Now let's just do a simple block here and see what we can do. Up here we have some farmland, which hopefully we can use. Now let's do this, then Oh, yeah, it's, it's gotta 
Um, see that I remember everything that Augustus has to offer, then of course I must please the gods, so let's have some temples around the block and then um, let's just already pre provide some gardens and up here we want to have some farms and of course it's quite difficult to squeeze everything in farm wheat vegetables fruits these are they mentioned that he will ask for stuff and I have to keep that in mind so I'll put down a prefecture and an engineer here and have them walk up and into this loop okay then accept some wheat into there and where are people coming from from over here okay let's it is along. Let's provide a doctor. And if... yes, we already read this. And we need a reservoir here. And that means we can also grow up. Oh, wait, that was too fast. Um. Okay, know that this scenario adjusts itself while you play on. Unlocking Marble Quarry, one active Grand Temple, Wines, two, and unlocking Mission equals five large temples. You can, you have to plan on new parts of the city with large temple ones. Right. 25, that's a pretty large population, which, by the way, we need 10,000 people, and we have not a lot of building space to be honest um, let's see um, 10 let's properly prioritize this there we go I finally set up some hotkeys as well, for example, copy and pasting, which for the whole playthrough of the campaign, I forgot how that works. So we have some people, so let's see what we can trade. Wheat, vegetables, that's all pretty worthless. Oil. But I think we cannot grow vines at the moment, right? No, we cannot. No, that's not it. Weapons and gold, right? That's looking pretty lucrative. And they sell gold, right? So, if we wanted to produce gold. Let's see, raw materials, gold. It doesn't work here. Also not here, so we must go onto this island, right? And as I can see, Um, that means we need to cross here. Do we get any money? A little bit, okay. 
So here, let's delete some stuff and let's set up an industry. Let's see, we want to open this trade route. And we sell gold and we sell weapons. And we're already in debt again, right? So, raw materials. Let's do two, three, three, four iron mines. And let's go around like this. Then we'll have two warehouses here, right? And warehouse number two will hold gold, and this warehouse will hold weapons. We have so much new stuff, and um, we need. A prefecture and an engineer. We need some gold mines. Two, three, four. And we need some weapons workshops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, yes, we're in debt again. And... Is there a way through? Let's quickly check. There isn't, right. So we must... clear off some stuff. And until we have some iron, we can turn off the industry. So we have food. So let's put down a market. To feed people. And hopefully, uh, we can make some money before we get fired. Five hundred people. Um, people and now we can turn on our weapons industry and um, what did it say here concrete cannot be stored or traded huh okay so how would that work also we have a new thing card Depot workshop concrete maker looks very nice, but I have no clue how any of this works. Um, good, so this has evolved nicely. People are moving in, so hopefully, we can produce some stuff and sell some things before. Uh, Caesar gets mad, or even more mad, until May. Ugh. That's a problem. We have quite a few weapons. 
Um, that's good. Gold is accepted here. We also have unemployment. It's also good. Everything is running at full capacity. Just hoping that... Okay, gold. Has come in. We're selling a lot of weapons. Selling some gold. Very good. So we should be able to make back the money. Put down another gold mine. Gifts, yeah. It's not great, but I think weapons and gold are in. So next time we sell some things, hopefully uh, we can get out of debt. Of gold seems to be very slow. That's already also very valuable, right? Let's check prices. 250. Yeah, so it's by far the most valuable thing we can produce. Traders coming in. And I think we need to get some temples. And I just noticed we cannot build any oracles. Okay, many weapons coming in. And oh, Caesar is already paying more. Come on, man. Some gold. Some weapons going out. Okay, we're out of debt. Okay, so... They buy gold and vines, which we cannot produce. Oil we cannot produce, so we need to import with four marble. They sell eight marble. Right. So selling pottery costs 5,000, I think. Over here, which is boost. Wait, can we put dock here? We can. Okay, so let's see raw materials, gold. Gold mine, gold mine, gold mine, gold mine, gold mine. Seriously. Um, and hook this up. And roadblock here and here. Have a road to go around the back. And raw materials. Let's try to produce as much gold as we can. Yeah, 110. Right, so 
Let's see that we can get in some people by Purdue or providing a library and some entertainment. I think we can also start to um, tax some people. So I'm just trying to learn how all of this works. Actually, if we do this, well, maybe a connection will be a little bit faster. Um, yes, many people moving in. Just need to make some money. It's January. Producing way too many weapons. I didn't notice um, that we can only sell 16. So, but at least we're out of debt. And with this, I'm gonna have a talk here. An open trade with Portus Victoria and also sell gold to them. And then um, there any space. That probably has to go there will accept marble so yes back in that um question if we build a grand temple we also need concrete stone and bricks that's new but it's less marble i think which is interesting Now we can sell some gold. Um, okay, now the requests start coming in. I think uh, there's farmland there, which now we have ruined. Um, over here. Um, Let's clear off this. Let's get a low bridge. And let's get farms. Two wheat. Two vegetables. And two fruit. this and then have warehouses here like this and they will accept no one and wheat this one will accept no one and vegetables. This will accept no one and fruit. And before I forget, engineer and prefecture. Okay. And we can actually just send request but um it's good to store up some things plebeians are refusing to work why what's the problem 
So gold and um, let's quickly check this again. We get marble quarries if you have one temple. So we must build one grand temple and then should be able to uh, one grand temple and then we should be able to produce all the resources to um, produce more temples or build more temples. Nice, so let's import max marble. And let's think about where we want our temples. What's your problem with our ability? Okay. This. Normally sees price wise that okay. Um Okay. So we have for some reason nine marble. Oh, they suddenly fell nine. And question is okay. My question is where can we build first more houses and then more? or build our temples. Do we just designate one part, like one island to monuments? Or is that a stupid idea? How big is one of those grand temples? Quite big, but for example we could squeeze one there. Um, whoops, that's not what I wanted. Let's see, ship bridge. So 900 plus... Um, okay, no, that doesn't work. But of course, try building one. Oh no, but we need some other resource. So actually, before we start doing this, let's clear off some space here. And let's build some housing area here. My question is, um, everything is quite a tight squeeze in a way. Maybe we also use this part over here. And we have a road like this. It's fountains. Let's actually use as much space as we can because we need 10,000 people. Fountain here, fountain here, fountain here. We build a big. I think that's correct. Like this, right? Yes. And then road like this. And then we need a reservoir on this side, something like this. 
and then you can go grab water from there. Yeah, back in debt, but we need tons of people, so let's get in those tons of people. We'll need a roadblock here, and then do roadblock. Let's do like one here and one here. And then we need prefecture here, prefecture here, prefecture here. We need engineer, engineer, engineer. We need doctor, doctor, doctor. And um, roadblock. Oh, we're also very much in debt. We need a prefecture and an engineer here. The water reaches up to there. Okay. And... Yeah, we just have those people move in first. That's very bad news as well, because we need to make money and the way oh oh and i know why we're so much in debt we're buying tons of marble forgot at the moment we should probably not import any marble Rome pays more wages, 35, you can already tell that this is going to be extremely difficult, but very interesting and very intrigued about this, and now we somehow must beat everyone here. Alright, so put in a granary and then a road like this and we'll have some wheat farms. And we also need must make sure I don't Max my credit. Um, Refacture engineer. And this will accept wheat, right? Yes. Hopefully, um, we can. Make some money in time. September. Hopefully the landslides don't last too long. Why aren't they? Oh, you're right. This also needs to accept ships, of course. Fish is becoming more expensive. And they're annoyed, yeah. That I can understand. Hopefully, uh, our money issue gets sorted. No, I love coming here. Business is going very well. Very good. Um, sixteen out of sixteen, so they should also buy some gold.
route we can send that at least without any problems come on buy some gold yes we have tons of gold in store so that's very lucrative so if um traders should get us out of debt and they all just have no desirability or what is going on with oh fish okay so. okay they have too low of desirability so let's quickly get some fishing going over here actually we can have a shipyard somewhere over here I guess um, come up here and then have a warehouse here and then get like two wharfs down that should be enough and then the gods are also mad of course so small temples um let's provide some temple access here and then as soon as we're out of that we'll provide some desirability yeah yeah you will mock caesar no more yes so we we have money a little bit too late, unfortunately. It's quite unfortunate, but I think we can paper this out. And uh, let's actually put down a second market. And uh, yeah, let's do like the classic. Thing and also put down a second market like this. And now let's restore favor. This working. Yes. And we need to send gift. Twenty one favor. And as soon as we send the fish, we should be. Fine, let's just put down third wharf. These people yeah, they have tons of unemployment. Where are our traders? Please come buy some things. Getting out of debt, at least. There we go. Have a lot of money. So here, let's raw material, gold mine. Let's put down some more gold mines while we have money and unfortunately we cannot connect but um actually should be fine if we do this um send some wheat yes we can do that and why isn't fish being stored of course because i forgot to accept fish into here Theft, yes, because um, desirability is a problem, so let's get those houses evolved. Emperor's Gratitude. Mm, yes. Favor. 
seems to be going up. We're mining tons of gold, which is good. Hero dispatch. Like this, okay. And I think one thing we need to do is over here have a roadblock like this bring over some marble put down a couple work camps and architect and we should start building grand temples Beth. again why is there let's actually connect this up like this and we can put in an actor colony somewhere let's do something like this let's do actor colony and gladiator school right and then we can have amphitheater and also an amphitheater here. And then we're almost broke. For action, we're broke. But we still have tons of gold lying around. Lovely. And I wanted to build large temples. So, let's build some large temples to please the gods. And let's resume marble imports. Uh, where's marble? So many things. And uh, let's just not overdo it. And then city mint. How much does a city mint cost? 250. Okay, and what? Why can we not? The natives seem. In, what is this? The natives seem to be intimidated. Okay. The legions here. And. What do we have to do? Senate, okay. Um, okay, uh, what can we do against the Legion? Let's um, try doing this. Uh, Defecture. They should turn around, I think. Right. What is going on here? Temple of Mercury. Temple of Mercury. Okay, they turned around. No, we don't need a barracks, but that's fine. Um, I wanted to build a senate. So I can then build a mint. And we get the mission post. Although, didn't the briefing say... Um, missionary post. Okay. That's good news. Because that means... Okay, let's build the senate first. There we go. And then that means um, because up here, right, gold mine, 
we can mine gold. So let's try doing something up here by building a road. build a mission post and let's see not sure why um, these locals are behaving so strangely but risks native so there's no more native risk right that means that means we can mine some gold After Three gold mines, and then we want city mint, and then guess prefecture engineer. Oh, and the city mint is a monument. City mint is a monument. That's a little bit difficult. But I think we do this. Um, eventually, there should be a city mint being built. Gods are all very unhappy, so for the moment. I'm going to build a row of temples just so that the gods aren't so unhappy. The money is of no issue at the moment. Thing is, we also need clay and timber for our monuments. So, this peninsula here will have raw materials. Clay pit, one, two, timber yard. One, two. Road. Road block. And refacture engineer's post. And another warehouse. Let's put it there. Accepting no one. Getting, accepting clay and timber. Okay. We have tons of workers available, which is very nice. We have a watchtower. Um, Risk is native. Okay, so we have some space to build gold mines and stuff. Um, I think work camp. And an architect skilled, since this is a mission about building a lot of monuments. And um, this year, still waiting for some marble. And vegetables, we can just send that immediately. And we also probably want to tax some of these people here and actually we also need more farms because we're running out of food price rise for weapons which is good because we're selling weapons and 
Yes. Iron Mine caves in. Yeah, that's no problem. So probably we also will need a warehouse to do to store the golds. What does a cart depot do? Let's build one and let's see. Oh, we can. Oh, so let's try this marble. Select the source. I must. Which one is this? War warehouse four, and this is warehouse ten. So warehouse four destination warehouse ten. And now this will. Wow. This is a very cool mechanic. I love it. They send out cows. Many cows. Wow, okay. That's super cool. Okay, this here is iron. Oh, okay. Um, arm. No. Raw material. Iron mine. And we must store some things. Wait, why is this road not just going like this? And then we can have a warehouse here. Right. Roadblock. And let's store up some gold. And some iron. And we have a prefecture and an engineer. No, actually, we don't need that. We can just do this. And roadblock here and let through the missionary. Food has now stabilized. And our cow hearts are constantly grabbing marble. Which is super cool. And then I think here we'll have our first Grand Temple. Oh, we can't. Okay. Never mind. Um, where could we put in our first Grand Temple? We gotta have one. Um, could build it here. Okay, so let's clear this off. Grand Temple, Neptune. I went into that for that, but um, roadblock. Okay, Marble quarries are safe now. Okay. Oh wait. Um, did I read that wrong? Grand temples. Five large temples. Oh, I misread that. Five large temples unlocks missionary post. And then one active grand temple. Oh, and this needs more resources, of course. Needs stone and whatever else so over here we need some more infrastructure we need another warehouse here that warehouse here will accept stone 
or get stone and what else do we need to build this um brick stone concrete okay so does that mean let's do this if we build sand pits here and then build um, workshop brickworks then these should make bricks right so just store up some bricks and then this here should be moved up here oh no that's a bad idea that's records right and then how does the concrete maker let's put down another car depot here and then we need to mine some stone so over here no i'm dead but since we make so much money it's no problem raw materials stone quarry one two three stone quarries and her house and prefecture engineer's post and this will accept just stone and then this guy here will go grab stone and later get that um, this we can just send that's no problem so how does the concrete maker work um, workshop concrete maker let's just put those down oh they also need sand huh okay This has enough stuff, right? So this here can actually also be a gold mine. And we need pottery, right? Because we need 150 people. Stone looking like this, interesting. But this here now should go from 13 to 14, right? No, from 14 to 13. Then the stone can be delivered over there. Now, this here. One carload of gold to 500 denarii. Nice. But this should slowly turn gold into denarii. Good. They're actually waiting, that's so cool. And on quarry. Have one more stone quarry here. But oh, this is looking all good. Stone is being delivered. This is Converting. Okay, so we just need more people. Question: um, Can we squeeze 
some people here. And if the answer is yes, just uh, give them a fountain. This we can actually delete. So it's this. I don't think we'll get in trouble with Caesar again. This. I'm having so much fun. Actually, maybe I should have saved the game. So this is save one. There we go. And what's happening here? This basket is kicked. No snail. I'm taking this basket of food to that lady's market. I'm hoping for a big tip. Why did they go grab food over there? That makes no sense, but. Um, food is reasonably stable. Hmm. Uh, this should just... Okay, so we're... Okay, so this will produce concrete if someone needs concrete. Interesting. Could we build one more? Sand pit without blocking the way. Rise, rise for gold. Nice. And maybe if this gets deleted because you don't need those anymore. Sand pit. Yes. Very good. This here now needs timber and concrete. Right, so now that we need concrete. This portion needs some water access. Okay, so the reservoir. The reservoir here. And now this should make concrete. Right? I think we can resume. Actually, what can we? Oh, we could sell pottery to Rome. And the question is, now we can send gold. So it's no problem. Can we somehow produce a lot of pottery? over here could have a warehouse up here and the warehouse could hold pottery then we need clay pits Clay pit, clay pit, and six pottery workshops. And uh, where do we put them? We could have a couple here. That means we need to actually open this up and workshop. Pottery, 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 pottery. And now we should be able to produce pottery. And let's just Make sure nothing collapses or breaks, like turn, uh, burns down. And all of this vegetables, no problem. 
Yeah, we have a little bit of lack of people. And why are they walking so strangely? Um, where could we reason on people? Not here. Right, so probably we should also get some pottery going on this side. Lower price, that's fine. Yeah, so pottery is being produced at quite a low efficiency, but that's just gonna be our last export like this. Rome will come in and buy some pottery. And I think we kind of have to write, get a lighthouse in our city. So where could we do that? We could actually put it here instead of our barracks. So let's put down the lighthouse there. That will also need stone, which we have. We're working at two monuments at a time. Concrete is making its way over. We do have sand. Oh, they also need clay, I didn't realize. Interesting. So I think, considering our situation, how about Nice little housing area down here. So let's see, we need a fountain. And we can do like a nice little housing area down here. Road. Oh no, let's do the housing first. Let's do road like this. And then, of course, we need the essentials, which means prefecture, prefecture, engineer, doctor. Then we need a reservoir. Or we can just Put here, aqueduct, and then we need a road through there. And then we get a granary down here. Let's put a road, roadblock. I feel like everything is a little bit more expensive in this uh, newest version of Augustus. Or is it just uh, me? Oh, and that's an issue, I think. Or is it? I can just do this. Not pretty, but... Um, let's do this. Prefecture. Engineer. And then we have Prefecture and the Engineer here. This should accept only wheat. And then we can move one small temple to over here. Let's go for series and then we can slowly replace them from over there. Right, and farm wheat. We can put one more farm here, something like this. Uh, of course, 
use our ability so they don't get jealous. Right, Plaza. There we go. Bathhouse so they don't get sick. And then theater, amphitheater. Theater and amphitheater. With gladiator school and actor colony here. And the forum as well would be nice. Then we need the market that provides wheat. Actually these markets over here. Yeah, let's set them up correctly. Just make sure nothing destabilizes. So then we also need a library. There you go. Show your library. And the workers are coming in. Now this here is still converting gold to money. This here still waiting for concrete. So actually it seems like um, concrete is quite slow. So let's actually replace those. Workshop concrete. I think I can have three like this. Good. This here is waiting for bricks, which we have. Okay. That's good. I think money is now really not an issue anymore. It's still waiting for concrete. And no buildings. Oh, okay. Um, God's still happy, right? Um, however, we could, if we wanted, also build some grand temples there, or large temple. Right? Got a clay pit, that's no problem. First phase. Oh, second phase done. Um, bricks have run out. I think maybe on this side, because we need tons of sand. Seems like. Can I put down the sand pit there? Can, that's good. Um, is there crime? If so, where? Doesn't seem like there is. Plague. Um, let's build a hospital and a hospital. So overall city health is good. Now this here, we can just um, make even more money, because why not? Um, leg, I guess. Yeah, let's put down some barbers. Um, barber here, barber here, and barber here. Let's move this roadblock in there. Hopefully that will help with our city health. I guess this here, uh, this timber needs to be accessible and then let me see here um can we produce i didn't expect so to need so much um things over on this side the timber is a little bit low right um also, we need a caravanserai, it would be nice, right? This needs timber marble, that's no problem. I think we need to 
resume our marble imports. Oh, we are importing marble, that's good. Um, stone, gold, everything looking good. Are we actually selling some pottery as well to Rome? Not yet. And why is that so? Oh, because it's March, probably. Okay. Tons of unemployment, so... Should make sure we can use up some of this unemployment. Let me build some more wheat farms here. And this. And a roadblock here. And then prefecture engineer. I will use up some. There's a couple more wheat farms to go there. This here is ready to deliver stuff to Caesar. And low price of vegetables that we don't really care too much. I wish we could have some more timber. I think. Um, I can just use this here, raw materials, timber, will not be super efficient, but um, should be fine. There we go, and can we have this caravanserai? Could go here. Well, let's actually delete one of these and get the caravanserai here. Wheat, we can send, no problem. <coughs> a little late at night while I'm filming this, that's why my voice sounds a little bit strange. Bricks, marble, timber. So, good thing we. Did uh, increase our timber production. There should be walkers coming over to bring stone. Yes. Um, under prosperity. Yeah. Um, we will definitely need some max level housing which i think will be like where can we put them we kind of have to go over here on this large island and then the smaller islands we use for more like um the plebeian housing um, okay, this is buying uh, pottery. Very good. A timber. I mean, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Um, this iron here is a little bit annoying. Marble. I don't have that much marble, so maybe um, can we get some more marble from somewhere? Uh, it's, we could, of course, also have an oil industry. Because, uh, here we can get some more marble. Let's open this just that we get access to this marble. And. Then this will also open and we'll have a warehouse. Somewhere. It would be nice if I could 
add this over here as well. Let's do a warehouse here. And do only for ships. Except half oil and half olives. So we can use up some employees. The thing is, uh, we need another dock. We'll go here and um, let's see if we do this everything still works and this talk is only for Taskio Ramos and then we'll have a couple oil workshops here and then we'll import olives and then export oil and then what else is there um, nothing that's very interesting to us so good that also used up some of our unemployment Bricks, marble, yeah, everything. Oh, this actually now needs a new... Like, has a new face that's new. Very interesting. As I said in the beginning, this is the unstable build. Wow, and yeah, it actually has a two-face build now. It's very cool. So this here, now we're... Buying olives and converting them into olive oil, which then we will immediately send out again. And this here has enough timber. Good. And I wonder if we can actually have like a huge pottery industry here and then use art depots to distribute to the different housing areas. And I think the answer is yes, or I think at least we should try doing that. And bricks. Okay, fish, no problem. So the favor rating is not a problem. The prosperity is a problem. The oil is coming in, very nice, so we can make even more money. The uh, this here did not accept Tuskiovanus. And I think we'll just start setting up huge pottery industry here with let's see raw materials clay pits let's do one two three four five clay pits that means ten pottery workshops Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two boats going around. And then we'll have a warehouse here. We'll hold pottery. Accepting, and then of course we need also engineer and prefecture. And then we'll have some cart depots here ready to distribute this pottery later on. That means, for example, if we try that out. Um, 
Senate is kind of an awkward space. Uh, can we build the Senate somewhere a little bit less awkward? For example, let's delete the Senate and build it across the street from this temple over here. Like this. And then um, prefecture and engineer. So there we can have a warehouse. In this warehouse is will get 16 pottery and this warehouse 19 now will be also served by what is this 18 so 18 to 19 and those art pushers will now immediately grab this pottery and deliver to the warehouse. Whereas a small destination has less than never. Always. Has less than eight. That mechanic is super cool. I love that, really. I know I said it before, but, but this here waiting for two bricks which we think Greetings. they are carrying bri okay uh, bricks yes this here is also waiting for two bricks so we're a little bit short on bricks which means we should produce some more and this needs clay and sand yes we have both of those things available Good. It's quite a busy city already. I love it. And since uh, we have uh, a lot of money, let's provide already some large statues in the middle those blocks nope not like this and this and then this gladiator school let's move there and the warehouse can go here and this can also get 16 pottery and then we have another one of these that will provide pottery destination is less than 8 source is 18 destination I assume is 20 right very good it's a long walk but with this new system I think that will work. Grand Temple of Neptune almost done. Or want to write done. Um, seller's policy. Yes, please. Very greedy. I want to make a hundred thousand. The pottery has come over, so the one place that doesn't have pottery yet. This one, so um have to read this message later. Getting pottery 16. What was this message? Rome pays more. Not a problem. We have so much money we can even pay a little bit more than Rome. So this year pottery when less than 8, 18 to 21. So pottery will 
be distributed to all those warehouses. Good. This is all looking great. Um, let's send a gift to the Emperor. I think here we need even more production somehow. Uh, but it's already a little bit a tight squeeze. Because we cannot block. Um, Grand Temple completed, yes. Great, so Neptune expands housing capacity. Let's do that. And then, does everyone have a Neptune Temple? Those guys down here need a Neptune temple to profit from this uh, um, expanded housing capacity. And we will, I think, just continue building more grand temples, right? Let's unlock um, the next thing. Let's see. We want all of them anyway. So, series. Or let's try Neptune. No, Neptune we have. What am I talking about? Let's do road coming out like this. And we will do. Venus Temple. Here. Right. And then this will start being built as well. 30. Fertility is now normal again. Yes, because we have the second Grand Temple. And we can produce wine, and we can produce our oil, we can still not produce. Okay. So that means at some point we'll stop selling, stop selling the oil, and we'll actually use it. So we can already repair. Part Epo here. Um, the Caesar wants quite a lot of wheat, right? So actually, let's expand our storing capacity over here by putting down two more. Warehouses. And this is a little bit awkward. It's just to make sure that a uh, road goes out, and then this can accept wheat and vegetables half and half, and this can accept fruit and fish half and half. There we go, and for the moment, let's just send out this wheat. Neptune should feel quite happy about Grand Temple. Let's just make sure. Uh, where is it? We can actually build five temples. Um, like this. Very good. We could actually grow our population by just providing pottery 
everywhere. So let's do that. And give our population a huge boost. And over here, artery. There we go. This is now completely filled up. And as soon as these things go out, Yeah, huge influx of people. Um, I think we also want to have another round of large temples. So let's build a couple. Uh, let's see where there's still, or if we can actually find some space. I mean, we could just do this, right, and then Mars and Venus would go where? We actually, let's put the Venus Temple here, and then put the bathhouse here. Question is, ah, they don't have world access. It's a little bit annoying. That was Mercury. That means, uh, Large temple to Mercury must actually go here. Right, so we have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Where did I put the fifth one? One, two, three. Four. I cannot remember. We'll see. Ah, here. Temple of Neptune. It's using a ton of all the resources, but that's fine. Are we? Oh, I just remember something. We should be able... Yes, we have marble quarries, so what am I doing? We just need to find space where we can quarry some marble. And I think we have a marble area up here. Um, raw materials, marble quarry. Or five like this, and expand this road to there. Roadblock, and then we have prefecture and engineer. Native risk should still be not a problem, right? And then we'll just have a warehouse over here. Storing up marble. Right? And then we can have also a work camp here. I will then use or bring over this marble. And I think just to be safe, we will have a mission post here to uh, make sure the natives stay 
happy, right? Uh, I see what's happening here. A roadblock must go here and can let through inspectors, but the missionary actually walks up this way. Doing so, um, why? Oh, they do not have a bathhouse, right? Um, right, no bathhouse. No bathhouse means we put a bath here and then a reservoir. There. Like this. Oh, and actually, the roadblock must. Go back for the fire guy to walk up here. Question is, does this bathhouse work? Or do we have to move something around? I think it works. Just have to make sure Maybe we can cut down those trees and also provide a road through here. Oh yeah, because now... Yes, actually they have to walk all the way through there. So actually yeah, here is a shortcut. That's good. Over there, timber and marble. And this here, yeah, should be accepting marble. With this here, let's just accept marble into there. And I think. actually smart what's going on here. And these guys... Why isn't gold... Well, 24 gold actually, yeah. There. And we have tons of gold into here. And we have two mints. No. Okay. The prosperity is stuck at its current level, but with these car depots, it's reading pottery so much easier, so much nicer. Right. We also have so much money. That's incredible. So. I think let's quickly do um, Greece here in the middle, bakes, there we go, and that's the city so far, and I think we will continue building in part two, so let's save the game here and we will continue in part two where we will try to work on our prosperity and favor goal so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this as much as i did and see you in the next video bye bye